And there's some good news uh, as India is fighting the challenges of COVID-19. IIT Delhi has now successfully tested a new fabric that they call infection proof. Now these are pictures, first pictures of what went into making it, how it was tested and the road ahead. That's the fabric on your screen, that's the product as they designed it. Joining us is Professor Samrat Mukhopadhyay from IIT Delhi. He is the one who's designed this. Professor Samrat, good afternoon to you, sir. Thank you for speaking to Times Now. I must begin by congratulating you for this uh, wonderful uh, work that you've done. Please uh, share details about it. Yeah, good afternoon. Actually, it is, it is a joint endeavor and uh, with me is Mr. Yati Gupta, the student who has been relentlessly working on this for a long time. So, uh, yeah, so what, what we, had, we have been working on this for the last three and a half years. And we have developed a material which, is, which has shown very promising antibacterial properties on the fabric we have coated. So we have tested for the antibacterial properties of the fabric and we have found that there is 99.9% .9 reduction of bacteria on the fabric. So what we have proposed is this can be a very effective material uh, for to prevent any kind of cross contamination and to protect patients and uh, doctors from hospital acute infections. No, now that this has been done, sir, what happens next? Are you have you ha, have the government authorities or some private players approached you for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There have been many who have been approaching approaching for this. And what what next is like? What we propose is we'll do some testing for uh, antiviral protection very soon, and then uh, probably we'll try to scale up the technology. I think Yeti can speak more on this. Do you have uh, Yeti with you, sir? If you have, uh, you can... Uh, uh, Yeti, Yeti, Yeti to speak to, be joining. to us. Yeah, Yeti was... I had shared the number of Yeti, so Yeti okay. was supposed we'll to be joining We'll connect to Yeti also, Professor, but uh, I believe you had collaborated with the All India Institute of Medical Sciences for a pilot run. How, uh, how successful was it, sir? Yeah, so... We have not done it, done the pilot with AIMS, but we are in touch with the AIMS doctors and several of them, and they have showed, they have told us that it is a very promising product. We have done a trial of uh, 30 meters of fabric in an industry, and the major challenge which was there was to ensure a uniform coating on the material, and we were able to achieve it. So now, now we would be thinking of going at a larger scale of material. Uh, the future step would be producing it at a bulk scale and we would be trying for that. Okay, and uh, the unique thing about uh, this fabric as I'm uh, reading the report, sir, that this is like uh, ordinary fabric can be stitched into any shape. So you can make the bed sheets uh, that are used in hospitals or at homes. You can make uh, uniforms for patients as well as doctors and attendants. Correct. So, ours, ours is basically a fabric which we have uh, coated with our material, what we have researched and found out. So, that fabric you can use to make any kind of end product you like. So, that is the, that is the uh, good part of it. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Samrat Mukhopadhyay. Uh, congratulations to you and Yeti Gupta, both of you, for uh, doing this. Uh, we look forward to seeing how this is used uh, in the fight against COVID-19. But over the last few days, we've been speaking to a lot of innovators on uh, Times Now who are doing their bit to fight uh, Corona challenge. Sample these reactions. Yeah, so I was, uh, uh, this Sunday, I was browsing the internet and I discovered that in Germany, there was a hackathon, uh, similar hackathon for COVID-19. And then it just hit me that uh, cases are going to rise in India as well. And uh, uh, with India being home to so many techies and startups, it, it, it made sense to do a similar hackathon in India as well. 
so with that you know i thought let me just announce on twitter that uh, uh, I, i have a hackathon in mind and i just put together something very quickly but it caught on uh, very very uh, it caught on uh, interest of a lot of people and uh, people responded to it and here we have on the fourth day of hackathon with uh, 1800 people joining uh, so so yeah, it's it's going quite quite well at such a short notice the additive manufacturing allows instant deliveries which are as short as one day but right now it's been just three or four days since we've started this conversation uh, there are a few products we've identified such as the face shields so these are coverings that are worn in emergency rooms that protect the caregivers and that is one product identified as the easiest to make and in the highest demand so imaginarium is working on creating these along with collaborators ventilators are needed in this time to help patients in the icu and one ventilator typically supports one patient what a splitter does is that it extends the capacity of one ventilator to now serve multiple patients two or four patients these projects have started in italy in the us in a lot of other countries and in india there are several open source projects that are developing indianized versions of this same circuit splitter or the ventilator splitter we've currently started printing at least five different versions of these and what we're looking to do is immediately get hospitals to test and validate and give us immediate feedback so that we can scale up this produ- the production of these parts i think uh, you know as a part of corporate social responsibility we want to uh, make the testing free for people with bpl ration card and with a valid doctor's prescription as per the icmr guidelines we think it's our absolute duty to do this at this point of time so that nobody gets uh, rejected for want of money uh, when the testing need to be done and i'm sure icmr is also going to increase the testing guidelines and probably even serology based testing will start happening in the next couple of weeks that time also we will do our best so usually the best way to do in the long term is do serology based testing for screening and uh, rt pcr based uh, test for confirmatory once we know that uh, the covid-19 has spread into the community our discovery has just got the approval from icmr and cdsco for the covid-19 kit based on the real time pcr and i would first of all like to thank cdsco and icmr and everyone at niv for the speed at which they have evaluated this kit and given us the license to go ahead and uh, our team as we speak has already started putting in all the efforts and they are you know working very hard we hope to get the first batch of kits out hopefully by end of tomorrow or you know all tested and qc day after tomorrow early morning we should have started supplying the first batch total number of covid positive cases in india stands at 640 The number of deaths that's at 17 we are tracking all that update 